Yo, 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 young noodle army, what's good, what's good, are you good, are you good, okay, you good? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video, thank you for tuning in. Uh, if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button, maybe ring the bell so you can stay notified and uh, you can see more of this, you can see more of this stupid hat. Now the internet is still buzzing from the Logan Paul KSI fight, a lot of people online have been talking about, uh, was the fight rigged? Yes, it was. Yes, it was rigged. It's boxing. Another thing that has had the internet buzzing, taking the internet by storm completely, are videos like this. Open your door. Ha, ha, ha. Now, at some point in your internet life, you would have stumbled across one of these videos, and uh, chances are, after finishing one of them, you would have had a mild brain aneurysm because these videos. They're quite weird, quite strange, don't make a lot of sense, and they're very, very unsettling. These videos come from a YouTube channel called Billion Surprises Toys, Nursery Rhymes and Songs. This YouTube channel has, I, I can't believe this, 15 million subscribers. And one of the videos in question that we're gonna watch, it has over 132 million views. That is unbelievable, unbelievable. And all their other videos have like a minimum of 20 million. Like PewDiePie, like PewDiePie, see you later. Move on, this is the new internet sensation. Now these nursery rhyme videos aim to teach children about many valuable life lessons like uh, don't lie, don't steal, uh, don't drink, don't stay up late, don't watch YouTube videos, don't do coke. A lot of YouTubers today could, could use a couple of these lessons because a lot of them are stupid and make really, really dumb decisions. Now the first video we're gonna watch tells a story about deceit, betrayal, acceptance and forgiveness. It is titled, Refrigerator Come to Life. Billion Surprise Toy! <laughs> now we have a dad that looks like an animated Freddie Mercury. He just arrives home from uh, what looks like a little tennis practice. He's also walking like he has a tennis racket shoved up his butt. Like, who walks like that? And he walks into his living room to see a human child and a not human refrigerator bouncing a soccer ball back and forth. And straight away, none of this catches him off guard. This is a perfectly normal sight in his household to see a life-size refrigerator tossing a ball with a child. Refrigerator, refrigerator. Yes, Papa. <coughs> Do you have water? No, Papa. <laughs> the fridge, for no reason at all, gets on the defense and says, hey, I don't have any water. No, I bro, Papa. Papa, no water here, bruh, back off. Which mm, doesn't make a whole lot of sense because number one, you're a fridge, that's your job. Your job is to keep items cold. And number two, Papa, the man of the house, he probably knows that there's water in there because he probably bought the water to put in the fridge to drink later. Jelling glass. No, Papa. Open your door. And I love that Papa, no shit, straight away, he calls him out on his bullshit, he says, listen, Fridge, don't fuck with me, all right? I know I've got water in there, you give me that water right now. And the Fridge, to his credit, he relents, he doesn't put up much of a fight, he's like, yeah, yeah, okay, I guess I do have water, ha ha ha, we can all laugh about it now, here's your water, Dad. And we're gonna completely ignore the fact that the Dad looked like a complete and utter predator when he told the Fridge to uh, open their door. Now you'd think the fridge would learn from this lesson, but apparently not. <laughs> so the dad walks into the kitchen drinking water like an absolute pelican. You see the mother cooking dinner. It doesn't look like there's any seasoning on that dinner. It looks very plain Jane, boring. I feel sorry for the kids that have to eat it. Where do you keep sauce? You keep sauce in the fridge. So they call the refrigerator back in and the refrigerator starts to give the exact same shtick when somebody asks for an item. It says, oh no, no, sauce. Uh, no, 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 no. You might, no, I'm not a fridge. You must be thinking about a different fridge. I am a television, you, no, fridge, no. I don't know what you mean. Sorry, no sauce here, no sauce. And again, the mother, straight on the ball, she's like, you're telling lies, you fridge, you friggin' fridge. I don't wanna deal with this, give me my sauce. So that's a lesson for you kids out there, don't try fool your parents, because they already know the truth, okay? That time that you snuck out in eighth grade, they knew about it. That time that you uh, smuggled porno magazines into your, your room when you were seven, they knew about it. Just ignore the fact that dad was reading them when you weren't there, they knew. So the fridge decides to move into the TV room where his ball buddy Johnny is sitting. And Johnny has a really big head for a baby. He has a massive head, but his eyebrows, they're on point. They're actually 
On fleek, a baby should not have eyebrows like that. I'm quite impressed. Refrigerator, refrigerator, yes, Johnny. Do you have ice cream? No, Johnny. And the baby's watching a television show, he's seeing ice cream on the show, and he's like, you know what? I want ice cream. I want ice cream. Straight away, that is symbolism because kids today, you see something on telly, they want it straight away. Telling lies, no Johnny. Open your door, ha ha ha. <laughs> Same rules apply here, the kid sees the item on telly, he wants it, he asks the fridge, where's the ice cream? Give me the ice cream. The fridge is like, no, 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 probably for Johnny's benefit as well, saying, you know what, Johnny, you haven't had dinner yet, let's just take it easy, I haven't got any ice cream. But Johnny, Johnny's very smart, he knows his fridge, he knows that there's some shit in there, he knows that there's ice cream in that fridge. So of course the fridge relents, gives Johnny the ice cream. Why is there ice cream in the fridge? I don't know. The fridge isn't doing a very good job. The ice cream should be in the freezer. Johnny and the fridge are sitting back enjoying ice cream and uh, all of a sudden Gollum from Lord of the Rings walks in. <coughs> like seriously, who is that? Who let him in? And why the fuck does he look like that? Refrigerator, refrigerator, yes, she Do you have chocolate? So this barefoot kid named Chia just walks in unannounced, goes up to the fridge and starts demanding chocolate. Now, I'm on the fridge's side on this one. I think the fridge is well within its rights to say, you know what, Chia, I don't even know you. You look like Kojak. You need to get out, okay? You're not part of this household. You get nothing. No, Chia, <laughs> telling lies. No, Chia, open your door. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> tells kids another lesson. You know what? If you don't want to give people something, sometimes it's best that you do. Even if that something looks like Vern Troyer, just give them what they want. Refrigerator, refrigerator, yes, darling. <laughs> do you have cupcake? No, <laughs> darling. And then like another kid walks in asking for cupcakes. Like, where are these kids coming from? Where are their parents? And why doesn't the fridge just go back in the kitchen and stop talking and just leave everybody alone? But at the very end of the day, the fridge, he's just emptied himself out, he's given a bit of himself to everybody, the family's happy, Chia, that chick, they're all having a great time. And I guess at the end of the day, that's family. You might have your struggles, you might disagree, but at the very end of the day, you're family and you love each other, so just do what you need to do, okay? Now the next one is called Family Indoor Play. Now a lot of people might say that this is the most iconic one in some ways, and uh, we're gonna find out why. <laughs> Johnny, eating sweets, no baby. <laughs> so it turns out the grandpa was sneaking away so he could sneak into the kitchen and eat one of those sparkly cookies. But straight away he was busted by Papa. And for some reason he calls Papa baby. <laughs> that, what the fuck? Telling lies. No Johnny, <laughs> open your <laughs> mouth. <laughs> and then little Johnny's there too and he's like, you know what? Listen grandpa, you ate cookies, I saw you. Don't, don't go down the same path that that fridge did. Don't lie. Just tell the truth. And then the, the grandpa reveals this disgusting growth on his tongue. And, and then I guess like the dad, I guess Papa and Johnny were like, oh, I guess you're not eating a cookie. You just have leprosy. Ugh, shit, you got us. And then the grandpa just walks away completely sly like he's gotten away with murder. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Grandpa thinks he's gotten away with it. He thinks the coast is clear. He thinks he's going to make a clean run for it. Not so fast. Our friend Chia is back. Now, apparently Chia has grown a head of hair and uh, he's had eye correction surgery because that's not the same Chia as before. Grandma, yes, Chia. Eating ice cream. No, honey. And Grandma, like, she was totally busted. Everybody saw her eating ice cream. Even Chia, despite the fact that his eyes are like one's here and one's here, he, he, he saw that Grandma was eating ice cream but he decided to grill her on it and she decided to lie. What is it with these characters and lying? Don't lie, especially when you're eating ice cream in front of someone that's asking you if you're eating ice cream. Like it's a lose-lose situation. Then Papa walks in and he's like, <laughs> oh, stupid old lady. Sweetie, sweetie. Yes, darling. Eating pizza. No, darling. The pizza's right there. 
The pizza is right there. That's the worst attempt at lying I've ever seen. And then like a whole bunch of other stuff happens. It's pretty much the exact same thing. Somebody's eating something. Somebody approaches them, asks them if they're eating. They're like, no, I'm not eating. And then the person's like, oh, telling lies, telling lies. And then they, they're like, okay, yeah, I was. I was eating that. But the best part is there are so many videos like this out there. If you want to kill a couple of hours, maybe kill a person or two, go and watch some of these videos. There are hour long clips on YouTube, which is ready for you to enjoy. All right, everybody, I think that's all we've got time for today. Thank you very much for tuning in. And uh, if you did make it all the way to the end of the video, I love you. And if you say in the comments that you did and you actually didn't, telling lies, telling lies, no papa, telling lies. No, I really appreciate everybody for tuning in. I love each and every one of you. The support that I get on this channel brings a tear to my eye, it does. Makes me queef. I love you all, and I'll see you soon. Peace. Telling Telling